Hello and welcome to my channel. I thought it'd be really awesome to share with you all what I'll be getting up to in May. I really love these kind of videos where you get to see people's reading and watching plans for the month. So I had a lot of readathons I was participating in, book clubs, read-alongs. Kind of want to lay it all out here, see if anybody else wanted to maybe buddy read some things with me or possibly learn about something they didn't already know was going on in the booktube community. But let's get into all of those, starting off with the readathon that I will be co-hosting. And that readathon is Escape the Readathon. I'm wearing my shirt right now. And this readathon has been masterminded by the incredible Lexi from Books with Lexi. She has been working on this for many months, probably maybe even a year. And so she's kicking butt. This has to be probably the most creative readathon I have heard about on booktube. So anybody who's participating is going to select a team that they're going to be put on. There's about four options. I'm going to be leading the vacationers alongside Michelle, Gabby, and Riley Marie. Every team has their own really cool backstory about how they got kind of left in this haunted house. Some people like the ghost tour go in there intentionally and other people like the vacationers kind of got stuck there because we were on our way to our vacation, got stuck in some car troubles and just kind of had to like wait out the storm until people can come and pick us up. So it's a competition to see who can get out of this haunted house first. And despite all the spooky vibes, which I live for, it doesn't matter what genre you read, the prompts are going to be super open-ended. So there's no real way you can prepare or like select a TBR prior that's going to be somehow helpful for you in escaping this haunted house. The prompts get revealed to us in the Discord channel. And so all of like the co-hosts created like their own little videos and I'm really looking forward to actually seeing those because I'm sure they're gonna be super entertaining just knowing who these co-hosts are. I'm really looking forward to this readathon. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. The Discord channel for the vacationers is already super active and people are just giving off so many good vibes and, it, and it's not even May yet. So really looking forward to that. There's gonna be sprints. I always get the most reading done in months where I do readathons and it's just super fun to be able to read in community with others. There's one more readathon I'm participating in this month that is also a watchathon, and this is Zombie Thon hosted by Kat from Kat's Novel Adventures. I love me some zombies, and there actually is already a lot of things I've been wanting to get to, and readathons are always the perfect ways to provide structure and a reason, I guess, to get to certain things, to prioritize certain things on my TBR or TBW. So I'm likely gonna be doing a zombie themed vlog in May. I really wanted to wrap up the Warm Bodies series. There's a prequel, a novella, the main book, a sequel, and then I think a final book, which is the one I want to read. It's called The Living by Isaac Marion. Sadly, this is only available on ebook. For some reason, it didn't get published in a more traditional way that was like hard copy. Isaac Marion actually did his own self publishing, but the physical book isn't available. So I purchased the ebook and I'm going to be reading that on my Kindle. And as sad as I am to like leave the world of Warm Bodies, I'm really looking forward to wrapping up and figuring out where all these characters that I love so much have ended up. The reviews for this last book are really great, so I don't think I'll be disappointed. As Zombiethon is also a watchathon, there is a movie from the early 1930s I wanted to get to, and that is technically considered one of the first zombie movies, which is White Zombie, starring Bella Lugosi. And there's a documentary that recently came out a few years ago. It's a blend of like history and cultural studies, which is my happy place in the nonfiction world. And it talks about the history of zombies, voodoo, in a way that is really accessible, but uh, culturally appropriate. So I think it'll give me a lot of insight into the actual history and background of the zombie that has connections to Haiti and voodoo or hoodoo. It'll just make me more informed when I read or watch things that include zombies. In May, I do have one read along that I'll be participating in, and this is hosted by Brooklyn from Brooklyn Reads. The book we'll be reading together is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. It kind of is out of my wheelhouse, but I've learned this past year that when I'm not reading horror, I really love Disney retellings as like my palate cleanser. Don't ask me why, but like that's kind of my branding here on this channel is like whimsically spooky and Disney definitely goes there and does that. So Hooked is supposed to be a dark romance retelling of Peter Pan. There are a whole lot of trigger warnings, so I don't feel like it'll be something that will bore me. Brooklyn is going to be hosting a lot of sprints for this and we'll be reading in community. It'll take place during like the first two weeks of the month. 
I do have one vlog project for sure that I really want to get to in the month of May, and that is to read books that are favorites of some of the people I really love following on booktube. For that vlog, I really wanted to read three specific books. The first book is The Cipher that Katrina Brown has talked so highly about recently. It seems scary, a little weird, and I really wanted to give that one a shot. She also gifted me for my birthday, The Amulet by Michael McDowell, which she really, really loves, but also, Michelle from Michelle's Melancholia has raved about this book in one of her videos where she lists some of her all-time favorite horror books. So I also want to read The Amulet since I already have a physical copy of that. And in the past few weeks when I've been talking about reading Southern horror novels, people have been recommending me Michael McDowell like crazy, so I really need to get to his books sooner rather than later to see what all this hype is about. And the last book for this vlog is going to be Brother by Anya Alborn, which Megan from Reading with Meg is obsessed with. And I think it's going to be really gross and disgusting and possibly is extreme horror. So if that's the case, I'm ready for it. I haven't read an extreme horror novel in about a month. So I think it's time to dabble back into that. Those are all three books I really just wanna prioritize. It's my mood reading May, and I thought this was a great time to get to some of the like all-time favorites of some of the people I really enjoy getting to watch here on book two and see how closely our tastes align. I have a feeling they're gonna align pretty closely, but this is just like a fun way of doing it. And I really love getting to read in community with other people. So I'm actually participating in three book clubs this month. And funnily enough, one person, Kelly from Kelly Hooked on Books, her book club pick is actually The Cipher by Kathy Koja, which I was already planning on reading for my vlog project. I have no clue what the cipher is about. I just know it's horror. Katrina loved it. It's about like a wall, I think, that like sucks people in. Yeah, that's all I know. And I think that's all I really need to know. Also, Amy from Amy Noel Reads, her book club is reading Monstrio. She does such a great job of choosing new releases for her book clubs. And I feel like I do a bad job of reading new releases if I don't like prioritize them. I'm definitely like a backlist person. I feel like the cover wasn't really singing to me. Like it does seem a little bland until you see like the little creature at the bottom. But then people started telling me about what the premise is. And I was like, yeah, stop there. Nope, reading it 100%. And all that really got me is knowing that it is about a mom who's dealing with the death of her child somehow doing something that brings the child back and then having like things get chaotic because that's not natural and there's horror elements that come up and it is grief horror and that is one of my favorite subgenres of horror so I feel like it has everything I need to really enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of Laurel Hightower's Crossroads book. Michelle from Michelle's Melancholia is co-hosting with Amy for this month. And Michelle is also hosting her own book club called The World of Horror. And she had a selection that was already on my TBR, so I thought, why not? It is Jawbone by Monica Ohida. I looked online and found so many fantastic reviews about this book. It is like a little bit horror, a little bit literary fiction, very feminist, kind of talking about the growing pains of women. And I love when stories really focus on the growth and development of young women, actually women of all ages. I really enjoy that. So I have a feeling it's gonna be very like internally plot driven, so more character driven, not too much plot going on externally. Kind of maybe low-key giving me bunny vibes written by Mona Watt, so we'll see about that one, but the cover is super cool. So although I've designated May as my mood reading month, I think I have a lot of structure and a lot of things like kind of selected already. The main goal of May though is to escape the haunted house. All the information for Escape the Readathon is down below in the description. Definitely join the discords for any of the book clubs if you also wanted to read along with people. And let me know what you are planning to read in May. If you wanted to see which books I got up to reading in April, definitely check out this video here. My April vibe was all about reading books set in the American South. So if you want to check that out, definitely click right here. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.